Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Oh no! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for my third video. Today I am home from Christmas break, so my setup is a little bit a little bit different. I'm, I'm back in West Virginia, back in my house where I can rest and not worry about finals and all that great stuff. So, super excited to be back here and I'm super excited to be filming again for you all. I had a couple people ask me to do a foundation routine tutorial sort of deal so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be going through the whole process from beginning to finish, yeah, beginning to finish, start to end on how I do my foundation. So let's get into it. So the first step to having a flawless complexion, a flawless foundation, layer, full coverage type of deal thing is skincare. You gotta have good skincare. I know you can't tell right now, but because hormones, but I do a lot of work for skincare, and if you want a skincare routine video, just you know, comment down below, tell me what you want, what you feel like. Mm -hmm. But what I'm talking about today is face primer. Today I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever primer. I'm just going to put a little bit of that, about a, I'd say it's like a nickel size or a dime, about a dime size amount of primer, and I'm just going to do that on my forehead, like my T zone area and right underneath my eyes. The next thing I'm going to talk about is foundations and I have a couple different options that I go with for foundations. If I'm just going for like a really natural look like going to the pool or running or the gym or something, I typically go with a BB or CC cream and those are really affordable. I bought a Smashbox one which was a little bit more expensive but Honestly, for a BB or CC cream, just get it at the drugstore. It's not that big of a deal. A lot of them are just moisturizing and they give you like a light tint rather than a full coverage like foundation would. So what I have is a Smashbox Camera Ready CC cream. And that is just like a really light, like it's not gonna give you a ton of coverage, but it is going to give you enough that like you don't look like you just rolled out of bed sort of deal. But if you are some like, more, if you're looking for a more medium coverage, I would suggest the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow um, foundation. It's super affordable. You can get it, I think I got this at Target. It's really good. It's probably the best drugstore foundation that I've used. It's super awesome. Um, about medium coverage. I bought this when I got a spray tan so I didn't have to go and buy like a really nice expensive foundation to match my spray tan. And I realized like, oh my goodness, this is almost, if not better, than some of the, the nice like Sephora $45, $50 foundations that I've bought. So that is super exciting to find that. The next one I'm gonna talk about is the Hourglass uh, foundation. I am in the shade Porcelain, which I is either the lightest shade or the next to lightest shade. I had a woman tell me one time I went out to eat and I was paying and I, I like gave her my credit card and she said, do people ever make fun of you? And I, I was like, what? <laughs> she said, do people ever make fun of you for how white you are? And I was like, not typically, no, it's not, it's not something I've experienced. But she was like, oh yeah, I, my sister's really pale and people just like make fun of her all the time. I know she meant it probably in like a lighthearted like, actually curious way but I was just kind of like ah, bye so moving on oh my all-time favorite my holy grail I love this stuff with everything in me it is the makeup forever HD ultra HD stick it is I I love it I've used it for like three years it's incredible a little bit pricey but worth every single dollar it's fantastic I love it I love it I love it so that's what I'm gonna be using today I use that the most the other ones are sort of seasonal, but this is good stuff. Now I'm going to get into actually doing my foundations. First I'm going to put my hair out of the way just so we don't look a hot mess and have foundation in our hair. First I'm going to start with my Makeup Forever HD stick and I am in shade 125Y315. We've already primed and now we are going to, I'm just, I just, and then we're going to blend out. So 
now I'm going to take my Morphe M439 brush and buff that into the skin. When I say buff, I mean like a circular motion because if you're just like going in there, that's one, that's not good for your skin and two, that's not going to look good. For concealer, I go in, I am, this is, this is it. I love Tarte Shape, I love Tarte Shape Tape, uh, but it is a little bit more on the pricier side, so if you sort of want to dupe to that, I would definitely re recommend the Instant Age Rewind, I think it's Maybelline, it's Maybelline. I'm just going to dot this in the under eye. I typically do three or four sort of in a triangular region because you really want to highlight those cheekbones. I usually, to, for concealer, you want to get a shade that's either one or two shades lighter than your actual skin tone. So therefore, it will brighten the places that you want to brighten. But I also suggest getting a separate concealer that is your exact skin tone so that when you have like trouble spots like you know, blemishes and stuff like that. You can put that in there and it's not going to highlight the blemishes. I'm going to take my Morphe Beauty Blender. I love this because it has the sharp edge and the point where I can get really deep in there. Using a beauty blender, bounce, don't drag because dragging creates streaking and we don't want that. So if you just bounce, it blends really easily. One thing that I love about the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer is that it doesn't dry down super fast. Some different concealers, if you just put it on there, it's gonna, the line is just gonna stay there and it's not gonna blend out as easily, but I don't have that problem with Sharp Tape. Sharp, <clears throat> Sharp Shape Tape, goodness gracious, Tarte Shape Tape. What's wrong with me? Now we have to go in and set that semi-wet concealer so that it doesn't move around. The powder that I'm using is the RCMA No Color Makeup Whatever it is. It's very affordable. It is fantastic. I hate the packaging because you have to like dump it into this cap and you lose so much product doing that. So what I'm gonna do is put this powder straight under my eyes. I'm looking crazy, but I went ahead and did my eyebrows. So now that that has had time to set, and soak up anything that will allow my concealer to move. I'm just going to take this brush from Sephora. It's a pro angle brush. It was ridiculously expensive. It was the first makeup brush that I ever bought. It was like $30. Don't spend that much on makeup brushes. If you want good makeup brushes, go to morphe.com. They have really, really fantastic brushes. So, I'm taking this and I'm gonna brush it away. Set that a little bit more, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin, I think it's the shade like porcelain, yep, porcelain, and I'm just going to go in and set the rest of the face with that, with that same brush. I'm going to be taking the Morphe 523 brush, it is fantastic for bronzing, contouring, the whole nine yards, but I'm going to be taking my favorite powder bronzer, which is Laguna from NARS. It looks like this. I'm just gonna swirl around in there a little bit and go into this sort of right here where there should, there's a there's a shadow sort of deep. We just wanna act like we have cheekbones, so. Hello? Hi. I'm gonna be using a Tarte blush in the shade Party. I've used it before, it's awesome, it's a travel size, I got it for free, but I love the color that it gives. I'm not like one on spending a butt ton of money on blushes because one, I mean, they're pretty and they're nice and they add color to the face, but like for me, I haven't had a blush that like stays. 
Most of them fade throughout the day, so I mostly focus on spending my money on bronzer because I feel like that's something that's going to be in it for the long haul. My long-term relationships are only in bronzer. After we've done that, doing our face some color. We don't look dead. I'm going to put on some eyeliner and some mascara, and I'll be right back for highlights. So. This is it. Those are my, my wings. I've learned a trick that I stop when I feel like my wings are almost perfect. Because if I keep going, each stroke that I, I do, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. So this is the best it's gonna get. Okay? Wow, what a difference those make. What I'm gonna do now is highlight and then I'm gonna do lips. I'm going to be taking the Morphe. I'm a slither love, nigga snag. Continuous setting mist, set and prep, whatever. <laughs> Father, son, holy spirit. Oh no. <laughs> For highlight, I'm going to be taking the MAC Soft and Gentle with the Morphe M501 brush. Yeah. I like it because it's not a, like a, I'm not a huge fan of a blinding highlight. I know some people are, but especially if I'm just like going out and like to the grocery store, like Deborah doesn't need to see my cheekbone from space. I don't know why I said Deborah. That's just like the first person I would think I would see at Kroger. I don't even know a Deborah, but I just that's what I that's what I picture Deborah at Kroger. So I'm gonna go in with this Clinique Sweet Rose, and I'm gonna put a little bit of color down over top this Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that gloss on. It looks like this. It's in this little cute little pot thing. One side's the scrub, one side's the gloss. I'm just gonna be taking my finger because I don't care about my health or well-being. Germs, schmerms, who cares? And then I'm gonna be going over that with a MAC gloss. It is rags to riches. So this is the foundation up close. I like to keep it a little bit more glowy. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of my in-depth foundation tutorial. I typically don't wear fake lashes on an everyday basis, but I always think that fake lashes help anything at all. But I wanted to note that I don't wear these every day. I typically just give myself a good like one or two coats of mascara and go on with it. This is my finished look, my foundation. This is how it looks on an everyday basis. Just foundation, bronzer, wait, foundation, concealer, bake it. After you bake it, you bronze. After you bronze, you blush. After you blush, you set. After you set, you highlight. Really simple. Isn't it? Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a better knowledge of how to do your foundation or at least how I know how to do my foundation. So if you did, please leave a like and come back for another video. So thank you so much. I love you all. Bye.